G'day, I'm Nathan from Miner's Den, and tonight's top tip on the Mine Lab show will be coil tape. So, with the coil tape, we use generally um, nugget, this is actually nugget finder tape we're going to use today, but it's electrical type tape, it's um, 3M Super Triple Eight or Double Eight tape, and we're going to use this on our coils. So, the reason why we do this is because the coils. Um, when you're just out detecting, you'll get lots of dirt and, and other materials, even leaves and sticks I've had under, under some skid plates. And when these materials build up under the skid plate, it can give you false signals. So we put tape on them, on the coils, to prevent it getting in. All right, I'll start putting the tape on. So you want to put about two or three wraps of tape on the, um, around the coil. Um, and just to make sure you, you, you cover up all the gap. You don't want any dirt getting in. So just like this is fine. It conforms to the shape of the coil, this sort of tape, so it's, it's quite, quite useful actually. So yeah, that'll be sufficient. There you go, that's pretty clean, otherwise you'd use a pair of scissors. But yeah, that's, that's pretty good there. So that covers all the skid plate, the seam of the skid plate there. Now, if you happen to take the detector and the coil underwater, I would recommend taking the tape off and um, cleaning out underneath the skid plate because you will get some water and perhaps some dirt and dust under there as well. And if there was any dust under there, the, the water would turn it into mud and you would get it some false signals off that. So I'd recommend replacing it like that. And after a period of time, just through normal use and detecting, you will wear out the tape. It'll just, it'll just hit rocks, rocks and sticks and whatnot. It will just fall apart, basically. Um, might take a few months or so. But yeah, when that happens, take the tape off, give it a good clean underneath, and then whack it back up again, and then it should be right to go. And yeah, this has been a top tip for the Mine Lab Show.